Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. San Jose's in control. Question is now, can they close it out? I don't see why not. They are obviously in a position where they've been the better team in this series. That's fair. You need one more win to put this to bed. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Sends it over to Stanley. Right up and cut into the attacking zone. Through center along the wing. Up the neutral zone now. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Picks it off. They go back on the attack. The Moose have the puck in their own end. Sends it quickly to Stanley. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Strong defensive effort. Manitoba's looking to break out. Gives it right back. They go on the attack from the left side. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. San Jose's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Roy's got it in the defensive end. They fight for it along the boards. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. San Jose's won the draw. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. And let's see what the call is. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. San Jose's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. I, for one, am a big fan of when the power play gets on the ice. I used to make my living doing this stuff, and it's because you've got time. Make sure you find a way to score. Here's a chance right out in front. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here he is in close. Oh, what a save in front. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Turns it away. Making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. More than half the period left to play. The game is still scoreless. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. And they managed to clear it. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the puck. The Moose have possession at center. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. And he gets a paddle on that one. The goalie gets 
sets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. Gains the zone on the left wing. Loose puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Now a quick pass to Dano. Gustafson's picking up steam. Nice poke check. Manitoba's got the puck in the defensive end. The Moose have taken possession in their own end. Moose it to Gustafson. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Slides it across to Carrick. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. Oh, you know he's just trying to clear the puck away. He ends up rifling it past his own goaltender. Whether you're up or down, it doesn't matter. This one stings. San Jose's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Pucks the puck away. Battle along the boards. Takes control of the puck. Quick feed to Bork. And it's a quick pass to Green. Into the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Grabs it in his own end. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've tried to jam things around the front of the net, James. I think they've got to go back to the point, open up some space, and shoot the puck from there. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Oh, and it goes off the stick! Smothered that in close chance. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Pokes it away in his own end. Right to the middle. And they can't connect with the steal. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Smart defensive play there. Stays with it. A chance! And he comes up with it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Sends the pass over. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Puck control is critical on a four-on-four -four as the game is right now. Face-off holds greater importance to me when you're down a man on each side. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Strong defensive effort. The Moose have taken control of the puck. Turn that chance aside. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. He scores! Talk about capitalizing there. They look like they were more aggressive knowing that they were going to get a power play. You can take a chance. There's no risk of giving up anything against. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. 
When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Give some nothing in front. Quick shot. Too many bodies in the way. San Jose's got possession while undermanned. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Quick pass to Gustafson. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Made the stop on that play. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Moose have possession along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. Manitoba's got the puck along the wall. Centering pass! Wrestling in close! Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. That's a long time to sit in the penalty box when the game is tied and you've just taken a penalty to put your team shorthanded. But he gets bailed out. The penalty kill does an excellent job. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Wow, did that sound like it hurts. You crash somebody against the boards like that, and there is nowhere to go. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Scooped up along the wall by White. Slides the puck over. They go on the attack through center. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Manitoba's moving it along the wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves the puck. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And that's taken by the defense. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Dumps it in. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Sends it across the ice. Moves it to the offensive zone. Move to the middle. Here he is shot right in front. Made that stop. The centermen glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Manitoba's got control of it now from their own end. And he regains control of the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Throws it in. The Moose have the puck against the boards. One minute left. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Manitoba's got the puck in their own end. Looking to set up offensively. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Here's an odd man rush. Takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. Here he is, wrestling on net. Denies him in front. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. That's the horn, and period number one comes to an end after a very entertaining 20 minutes. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. 
And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? San Jose's focus has to be getting more pucks to the net. They really didn't do much in that first period. Centering pass, and that's blocked. Drills them. Nice pass. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Long pass across the ice. Moves it to Carrick. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Takes the pass. Stanley's lugging the puck. Maintains possession. Can't catch up to the pass. Grabs the puck in the corner. Can't find his man. Here's a race for the loose puck. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Trying to get back on the attack now. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the officials saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. The power play unit goes right back to work. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Clearing attempt. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. San Jose's looking to break out. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Big play inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's all tied up. Gustafson's won the draw. A chance! Way too much congestion blocks that. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And we've got a two-on-one. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. I guess they can look at their power play, James, and say we have had some success tonight. But really, for the most part, it's looked like five strangers out on the ice together. Across the line from center. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Scoops up the puck off the draw. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Receives the pass. Nice zone entry from the middle. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the poke check. Oh, smart play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. San Jose's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. There's the whistle stopping the play. And it looks like two minutes in the box for holding will be the call here. Well, he's got a mitt full of the guy's sweater. It's tough to argue That's that one. Safe. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. His reflexes on display tonight. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, 
spreads out and makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Pass back to the point. And now he moves it to Stanley. Sends a pass over. Here he is in front. Off the tip and can't redirect it into the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Whoa. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You've worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. their work ethic on this power play because it didn't go in the net early for them. They had to stay at it. They kept all kinds of pressure on the penalty killers. Eventually, you just wear them out and they're able to score. Manitoba's jumped out to a one-goal lead here in the second. Breaking the tie was critical. Now you can play in front and try and dictate the pace of the game. And he slides it quickly to Stanley. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. They fight for it along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. From center, they get into the attacking area. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. He's really enjoying the spotlight of being one of the league leaders in goals. You take more responsibility, you have to produce, and he seems to embrace it all. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Manitoba's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. The Moose have it in their own zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Picking up some steam at center ice. Look out, a two-on-one. Jabs the puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And that pass goes awry. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. The Moose having called for holding. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts, they've been threatening for the tying goal. Finally, they earn a power play. On their heels, trying to clear. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Let's it fly. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. There's another stop. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. Manitoba's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Hammers it on the one-timer, and a great save. And that one's broken up. They move the puck out of harm's way. Looking to break out here on the power play. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And there's the whistle, yet another penalty set to be handed out here. The Moose have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. I guess at a certain point you gotta let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. Face off with a five on three power play, but not much time to work with. The puck battles become more important when you don't have much time. You better win the puck, whether it's on the draw or in the corner, and get yourself set up. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Dumps it in. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. 
Handles the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Moose have the puck shorthanded. They clear the zone. Takes a moment behind the net. Takes the feed from his own end. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Past the halfway mark of this period, Manitoba's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes it at center. Breakaway denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Denies him on the play. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Man, he got rid of that puck in a hurry. But the goaltender was even better. The glove makes the nice stop. Here in the late goings of the period, Manitoba's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Offense's own face-off, and he wins the draw. Comes up with the stop. Shot redirected. Misses. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Picked up along the wall by Bork. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. San Jose's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, what a stop! Works the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Green's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's the official call. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. They'll go back to work on their special teams. These guys must be excited to get back on the ice for another power play. It's really gone their way tonight. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. What a steal in his own end. Gains the zone through the middle. Tees him up. What a stop as he puts up the fire. Comrie's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. San Jose's won the draw and they'll go to work. Couldn't make that one happen. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. San Jose's back to even strength. Oh, well, their goaltender's going to be the happiest guy on the ice. Usually, as of late, when they get shorthanded, he just gets pounded in there. But the PK did a nice job, and they killed the penalty off. Couldn't complete the play. Sends the pass over. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. That pass doesn't go. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring the two player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative... Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away.
Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? San Jose's frustration's pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you gotta move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. I'm not so sure what they looked at in the penalty killing meeting, but the only thing they've done really well tonight is dig the puck out of the net as this power play gets another chance. They've been so good tonight. Breaks up the play with a poke check. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Here he is on the backhand. Comes up with the stick save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a 2-1 game. Gustafson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. With the steal. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Manages to hang on. And they'll dump it in. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Here they come up along the wing. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. The penalty kill gets the job done. At times it looks like it's a little leaky. Tonight it's just been average at best. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Steps in and takes the puck. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Move to the middle. Stones him in front. Comrie's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Huge steal at his own end. Right up the gut, here they go. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Nice pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Nice poke check. Hangs onto the puck. Still keeps a hold of it with the stop. Takes the puck behind the net. Battling for it along the boards. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Quick feed to Stanley. Here's a chance right in the slot. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Referee Gilles calling holding here on this one. Yeah, he didn't hesitate either, James. No. It's like as soon as the player got close, it's like you could tell there was something going to happen. It's a holding call. Manitoba's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in-game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. And a successful clearing attempt. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Quick feed to Gustafson. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. It's a two-on-one. Puck grabbed by Carrick. Manitoba's gained possession. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Slides the puck over. With possession along the wall. Nothing doing on that. Taken by Gustafson. And makes the save. Trying to get it out. San Jose's back to even strength as they killed off the penalty. Good work by the killers here. They give themselves an opportunity as giving up another one would be almost a death blow. 
He was locked in there. Manitoba's got it along the wall. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Not able to connect. Pokes the puck away. San Jose's got possession at center. Slides it across. Just wide. The Moose have gained possession. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, God, did you really have to call it? Manitoba's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. And they fail to go take to take. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Takes the pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Roy's taking it from his own end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From the wing, it's moved to center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Past the midway mark in this period, it's a 2-1 hockey game. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. And a few players scrambling for cover as the puck sailed a little too close for their liking. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. San Jose's won the draw. Let's the wrister fly. Nice save from point blank range. And another stop. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Manitoba's won the draw. Hammers the one-timer, just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. And now it's grabbed by Carrick. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves the puck. Couldn't complete the play. Here's a short pass to Stanley. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Takes the feed. Let's it go. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Gets the puck in deep. The Moose have possession along the boards. Stanley stick handling in his own zone. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Grabs it in his own end. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to set up offensively. The Moose have the puck against the boards. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. Into the offensive end now. Stanley's caught with the hook, and the officials saw it. Let's see the call here. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. Manitoba's special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. When you've already scored on the power play, and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a whistle here. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's 2-1. Gustafson's won the draw. 
Here's a chance, and that's blocked away. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. They get it out of the defensive end. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Sends the pass across the ice. Nice zone entry on the left side. Keeps hold of the puck. Manitobas on the attack. San Jose has gained possession along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. San Jose is in transition. Time to execute here on this power play. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. That opportunity is rejected. That's a big swing and a miss right there for the power play. Critical moment of the game, and they're not able to cash in. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Handles the puck from the left side. Grabs it in his own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Can't connect. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yep. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Man advantage unit steps inside the face-off circle with another golden opportunity in this critical time of the game. At the morning skate, to, and that's another power play marker. Well, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. He's in the bumper position in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around him, find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. Manitoba's offense the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. San Jose's won the draw. Receives the pass. Aaron pass and the play is broken up. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Finally the goal. 17 minutes, 31 seconds. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Getting into the later stages of this period. Manitoba's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Sends a pass over. Loses his balance on the play. Grabs the puck. Takes the feed. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick shot. That goes off the mask. Heads to the back of the net. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Shuts him down. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The centermen glide into position. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that one's blocked. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Let's see what the officials say. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They fight for it along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And that's picked off. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Up along the wing. Strong defense.
defensive effort. That's set a race now. He grabs the puck. Slides it up front. On the attack along the boards. Here he is in front. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. Scores! They deliver big time with a man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Well, they pull all the tricks out of the bag now. You pull the goalie, there's not much left after that. But they capitalize and score with the extra attacker. Manitoba's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. series here right now tied up at two. That sets up a critical, important game five. Now that we're locked up at two, who will get a leg up again? And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.